everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. I'm happy that you are joining me today. Um, today I'm doing an unboxing and also uh, a haul video. Now, um, this first item that I got um, is a gift that somebody purchased from another channel. Um, it's from Angie's Oddities and it was from Edward. Um, I was told that this is from Edward, so I can't wait to open it. Um, I've had it for a few days. I did a live unboxing on Thursday, and when I was done with that uh, live, the doorbell rang, and it was the my mail carrier, and she delivered this. <laughs> so we're gonna do this today. I can't wait to see what it is. Um, so Angie from Angie, Angie's Oddities. She was doing a sale with um, with Helen Booty, the New England Thrifter, and that was on Sunday. Sunday, uh, well for me it's morning, <laughs> but be, for everybody else it'd be afternoon. So let's see what she got. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I already love it. Oh my God, this is from <gasps> Scrapbook Paper. This is brand new, isn't it? It's from Tim Holtz. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Let me see. I'm trying to see if I have something to open the this because it's sealed. Um, if you into scrapbooking, you probably know who Tim Holtz is. And he does a lot of um, stuff for scrapbookers. Um, oh my gosh, I'm having a hard time opening this. <laughs> I want to see what these papers look like. You can never have enough scrapbooking paper, let me tell you. Um, oh, this is going to be awesome. I don't know if you can see all this, but it's different uh, scrapbook paper. Oh, this is going to be so much fun to use. <laughs> oh, and it's on both sides. <gasps> That's even better. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see this. But the paper is printed on both sides. That's awesome. So, so cool. And that's, this isn't everything. Let's see what else is in here. Angie was so excited. She had to tell me because she was so excited about it. Um, some journaling tags. These are big, big tags. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh. I have to, I have stopped doing journaling just for, for a little bit, not for long. But um, I'm going to have to get back into it. Oh, these are little, like, they're cloth embellishments. Those are neat. They look like little stamps. So, so cool. Oh, my God. Oh, the Tim Holtz people. They're paper dolls. Oh, my God. Look at this. Aww. That is so cool. And they're all cut out. I see people do amazing things with this. I see that they're gonna be little witches, little fairies. That is so, so cool. What else? This is cool. Um, some stencils. <clears throat> and this again is from Tim Holtz. And his stuff is not cheap, let me tell ya. Um, oh, some little wood buttons. Look at that. All the different kinds of little wood butt buttons. The flags, the American flag, the British flag. Really, really cute. Um, more of these. La Grande Maison Paris. Paris. <laughs> and is that it? I think that's it. Oh no, more. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is interesting. It says, it's like little cabinet cards. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this before. And this again is Tim Holtz. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh my God. Oh my God, I love this so much. Oh, thank you so much, Edward. Oh. I love this. I really love this. Those are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, and this is Angie's card. Oh, 
Oh, I tell you, just, I don't deserve this, but thank you so much. Oh, that was great. That was wonderful. Thank you again so much, Edward and Angie, for giving that to me. Um, so my next item is from Sandra, or Sandy, and she also sells with Helen, New England Thrifter, on Sundays. And I don't remember exactly what I got. I just know that it was really awesome. <laughs> so let me find my glasses. Oh my gosh. So it's Sandy Spiff. Um, I wish she would have put her, I can't remember the name. I think it's Sandy Spiff. I think she has a number after her name. Look at how cute that is. A little bookmark. So I've got some things from her. Well, like I said, I don't remember. Oh my God, I have no idea. I know when I, when I see it. Some pretty ribbon that I will use. I try to use everything. What did I get? What did I get? I have to open this. Sorry. Sorry I didn't um, do this, but I wanted it to be a surprise. Um, just like Angie, when she told me that um, Edward had purchased something from me, I'm like, I'm not going to go look. I was tempted to go look at the lives at the sale. I said, nope, nope. I want it to be a surprise. So I do want it to be authentic. Um... It's funny because when we were kids, um, even like at Christmas, we knew there was not a Santa Claus, but my parents would always hide our presents still. And um, and my sister, who was a little bit older than me, would always want to sneak in the closet and look to see what we got. What, and I always told her, do not tell me. I don't want to know. I want to be surprised. <laughs> oh, yes, I do remember. These are little salt and pepper shakers. And they look like that um, Rio Ron, Ron, Rio... Rio Hondo, I think. I don't know if they are because they're not marked, but look at how cute. I just thought it was adorable. So that one, it should have a mate in here. I want to try to get also to this haul video. It's not, I didn't get a lot of things at, um, at the thrift store, but they were 50% off on Saturday, which was yesterday. Uh, so I had to go back in there. And that's the one that I did the, I did a live haul Thursday because I went Wednesday. Wednesday is um, senior day over there and it's 25% off, but Friday was 50% off. And now they offer this um, like little ticket. So if you spend $30, you get a stamp. And if you spend 20, you get a stamp on the 20 lane line. And then once you um, make five visits and spend that kind of money, you get like on the $20 line, you'll get $20 off. If it's the $30 line, you'll get $30 off. So I can't wait because um, I go there often. <laughs> Matter of fact, the girl even said, oh, you can hear a lot, don't you? <laughs> I said, yeah, I sure do. Let's find you honey hole. It's so much better than, than Goodwill now. Oh, <coughs> and this, these are little um, redware figurines. I'll be right back. You know what? I have to get a Kleenex. My nose, all of a sudden my nose is running. Oh my goodness. Hold on a second. Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. And I think there was, oh, was there a couple of kitties? I can't remember. I think there was a pair. And they're not salt and pepper shakers. They're just little figurines. Really cute. Now, I tell you what, if you go to, to watch Helen's show on Sundays, it's often with, um, with Sandy and, and Angie. Sometimes she has somebody else on, but they, they sell some really cool stuff at a really good price. Oh, and this goes with the, with the dog. Fire hydrant, of course. Isn't that cute? I love that. I didn't bring water in here with me now. I have to cough. It almost felt like I was coming down with something. Um, I'm going to take a lot of vitamin C. But I don't know. It's like off and on. This must be the other kitty, I'm thinking.
Okay, and this is the other little cutie. Are they so adorable? I love them. And they're a chocolate color, cover, color. Oh my God, I can't talk. They're chocolate color. I was watching um, another reseller and instead of calling it brown, she says, no, we don't say brown, we say chocolate. <laughs> and I love chocolate. So those are just adorable. I love them. And then one more thing. And of course, I don't remember what this was. I kind of do and I kind of don't. So we will just have to open it up and see what this is. I hope you guys are, I hope I'm holding them up where you can see them. Because it's not, um, I can't see myself while I'm filming. No, I tried doing, turning, flipping the camera, you know, the so I could see myself. But when I do that, for some reason, it's um, it's like comes up eight, eight gigabits or something, something really high that I can't download it. So, oh yes, it's beautiful, beautiful print. And I love this frame. Look at that. So that's probably gonna go in my bedroom, I think. My bedroom or the guest room. That is so, so pretty. So thank you so much, Sandy. And I will put both Angie and Sandy's um, link down below in the description. I'm also gonna put um, New England Thrifters. And uh, now Edward, um, I'll try to put his link too. I think it's El Unico. Um, you can also find him on Instagram. He posts some pretty awesome stuff. So you can go check him out. And I will put that link down in the description. Okay. Whew, I had to kind of refresh a little bit there. It's so hot. Oh, I went outside. I was just like drenched. Um, it's so it's kind of humid and it's back. Oh, I don't know what the temperature is, but it's over 100, probably over 105. So I went, oh, let me show you. I did go to one yard sale. There was one yard sale yesterday on my way to the thrift store. The only thing I picked up was this. I thought it was so cute. And uh, this might be for me because you know what it's for. So maybe I can find my glasses. I have to keep this here when I'm doing my videos and my live so I can find my glasses. So I thought that was really cute. Okay, so uh, Purple Heart Desert Thrift Store. I went there Saturday, like I said, it was half price and I got some cool stuff. Now this, some might think this is scary. I just thought it was super cool. Um, but look at this. I don't know, it's not signed. I don't know why they wouldn't sign this. It's like a pottery piece. And this is um, macrame all around it. I don't know. I just think it's so cool and so different. <laughs> I love it. He does have kind of a scary face, but isn't he cool? This is kind of this um, macrame, uh, I don't know what you call it, but anyways, it's kind of flaking off a little bit. I think it's pretty old. I think this is must be vintage, but I think he is awesome. So I picked that up. Um, they had this last week and I didn't buy it because it was a little bit high, I thought, but it was half price, so at half price, but I was kind of sorry I didn't get it. So I did pick this up. It's an old beaker, like a lab beaker. And I thought that would be perfect for a Halloween display. I could see putting like green uh, food coloring and water in there. And it'd be nice with like dry ice coming out of it. But I thought that was really cool. So I did get that. Or maybe I'll just use it as a vase and put some Halloween stuff in there. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with that. I picked up this beautiful hen. It looks like Talavera. It doesn't say Talavera, but it does look like Talavera. It is signed Mexico, La Macheta International Mexico on the bottom. 
but I love it. I love the colors on this. I may keep this one. I don't know yet. I really like it. This might be looked good in my Arizona room. I really like it. It's a planter. At least keep it for a little while, right? And enjoy it. And look at this. This is made in Taiwan, so I'm thinking it is vintage, probably, you know, 80s, 90s. But look at how cool. And it is, um, you can put a tea light in there. I imagine that looks really cool all lit up. <laughs> Perfect for Halloween. It's hard to find vintage Halloween. So I thought he was cool. I picked up a tin because you know me, I love tins. And I picked up this one, it's embossed. It's absolutely beautiful. This one was actually made in Holland. I love this one. And there was something inside it, and I asked her about it. She said, oh yeah, it's, if you want it, you can have it. It's just a little, it's an inexpensive little frame. But that was in there, it's kind of cute. So it's a twofer. And then um, I just picked up this little bag of, you know, me and the crafts thing. I thought this would be cute for an assemblage, little, little presents. And this beautiful, it's tiny, but it's so pretty. Look at that, it's really, really small. Um, it was made in Thailand. It is some kind of porcelain, but look at the, the details on this. A lot of gold, some cobalt blue, just gorgeous. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? So, so pretty. And then um, I picked up more stuffies. I think I only got two. Um, I got another little kitty. Oh no, this is the bear. But I love this bear because it's like a bluish purple color. It is a Thai bear. I thought he was so sweet and a little angel. And then um, this is the kitty. So this is a Thai kitty. Let's see if she has a name. Her name is Katrina. Isn't she sweet? <laughs> you gotta get the kitties, right? Oh, so sweet. Um, and then I picked up this. It's a um, mid-century modern looking little soup bowl. So they only had one. It is by Fire King, Anchor Hawking, made in USA. I love the design on there. A little starburst with a, reminds me of a candle. I don't know. Um, and then this, I've had one of these before and I sold it. Well, now I have another one. This was made in Korea and it's a brass boot. I have one in my own collection. I had one, I sold it. And this one will be going for sale in a live sale pretty soon. Isn't that gorgeous? It's kind of heavy. It's really heavy. Good size. So yeah, I picked this up. Um, luckily all these were half off, otherwise they were a little bit pricey. A little bit on the pricey side. Now I got this. It's almost kind of reminds me of slag glass. It's blue. It's like a little little creamer. There is no mark. Oh wait a minute. I said there's no marking, but actually there. I don't know if that's a marking or if it's, um, it's hard to tell. Maybe that's not a mark. But I love this. It's so pretty. Could be a toothpick holder, I guess. But no, I think it's a picture. Yeah, it's a little picture. Cute for a little cupid doll. <laughs> and then, um... This one, I really like it. Now, I would actually like it better if it did not have Shirley Temple on it, because it does have Shirley Temple on there. But I just love this. It's, look at the angel with the harp. I just thought that was beautiful. And then it has little shamrocks all around. And of course, it's cobalt blue. And if you know me, you know that I collect cobalt blue. So this is probably gonna stay in my collection. Like I said, I'm really not crazy about the, the transfer wear on there. I wish that wasn't there. 
And if I knew how to remove it, I probably would, <laughs> but I don't know if there's a way. Uh, it's Shirley Temple. I like Shirley Temple, but I don't think I like her on this. But yeah, isn't that gorgeous? So I'm thinking this is probably from the 30s. I'm just my guess because of the design and because of Shirley Temple. But um, yeah, I thought that was really cool. And is it? If, oh no, I have two. Oh, and these. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I got two amazing necklaces. And I'm not sure if I'm going to sell these or keep them. Um, one of them I, I think I may keep, and that's this one. I'm, when, you'll, when you see it, you'll know why. Um, of course, I haven't tangled up. But I love everything about this. Um, it's like, um, oh, what do they call that? <sighs> my, my, my mind is, I can't think of what it, um, <laughs> it'll come to me after the videos, after I put the video up, I'm sure. Isn't that beautiful? And look at the chain. It's so unusual. It is just beautiful. Oh, what do you call that? It's going to bug me. <sighs> Something revival. Um, mm. I'll put it down. I'll put it, I'll put it in the, I'll insert what it is after I think of it. <laughs> if I don't think of it before this video ends. And then this one. Oh my goodness. This is kind of, I should have taken the tag off. But this is really unusual too. And it also has that bronzy brass um, color on it. Um, oh, this chain is getting tangled. I, I should, let me take this tag off. Hang on just a second. That'll make it easier. That doesn't need to be on there. Okay. And this is another long one. It's a very long chain and it's very unusual again and it has a some kind of a stone on the bottom which I'm not sure what it is or it could even be it might even be ceramic I'm not really sure it's either stone or ceramic in there this one I probably will sell it's so unusual I love it very long so, um, yeah, but this one is just, oh, and I forgot to tell you, this is a locket. It almost looks like it's going to be, a, I thought it was a watch at first, but it is a locket. You have to lift this thing up. Of course, now I did it so easily before. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, and now, of course, I'm not going to be able to open it. Why? Oh, here we go. I guess you got to push down on it, but it is a locket. Isn't that gorgeous? What is that called, though? Oh my gosh. So gorgeous. I love it. So pretty. Um, oh, now this. This is gorgeous, too. This is beautiful. And this has like gold flecks in it. It is so pretty. It's like a purple, kind of a, actually more like a cranberry color. And it does have a lot of gold flecks. It's small, but it's so pretty. I love that. And I don't think any of this stuff glows. Um, no, nothing glows. No glowers here. And I think that is it. I hope I'm not missing anything. Um, I think that was everything that I got. Um, I spent a total of $60. So all of that was $60. Um, which isn't too bad, I don't think. Let's see how many items did I get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 items. I didn't think that was too bad. So, yes, that is everything. 
So thank you uh, for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. Put it, put a comment down in the description. That does really help my channel. Um, if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I do live sales every Sunday night at nine o'clock Eastern. Um, this video is probably going to go out after the live, but we do have a live sale tonight on uh, with the Crafty Kitties. No, not the Crafty Kitties, the Chatty Kitties. And it's going to be on Sabrina's channel, Simon Says Let's Make a Deal. And then the following Sunday will be on my channel, um, which I should say this coming Sunday because, like I said, this video probably won't go out until Monday. Um, it'll be on my channel at 9 o'clock Eastern. So, and there's three of us, uh, Sabrina, Leanne, Crafty Kitty Vintage, and we rotate channels on whose channel it's gonna be on. And then on Thursdays at four o'clock Eastern, I do either live hauls and um, unboxings. I'll do maybe a craft video, not video, I'll do crafting live, or I will do a live sale. So it just depends on my mood. Sorry, but that's just the way it goes. <laughs> so I will be doing a live sale soon on Thursday. I probably won't be this Thursday. And then again, it might. Um, see, like depending on my mood. But um, I will let you know, and I usually advertise here on YouTube with a short video and also on Instagram. So you can follow me on Instagram. I also sell on Poshmark. Uh, so you can go check out my Poshmark closet. And if you like an item on Poshmark, I usually will send you an offer with discounted shipping. So it's between 10 and 30% off with discounted shipping. So go check that out. It's all under the same name, Picasso Cat. So anyways, I think that's it. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video.